<laughs> hey, magical and not magical friends. Welcome to our channel. This one's got a sore throat. It hurts. I don't think it's COVID. <laughs> anyway, so we're super excited. We're coming at you with a video to show you our Universal Studios Wizarding World and Halloween Horror Nights Hall that yeah. we got. Yeah. Yeah. We went to Harry Potter World for the second time. Yeah. It was so fun. So fun. So we have a ton of stuff to show you guys. We got a lot of merch. Uh, and we got a bunch of candies from the shops. And I'll also show some video of different um, stuff that we took video of while we were down there. And I'll do like a like a voiceover to explain what it was or whatever. Let's have some candy. Ooh, I want to start off with the Fizzing Whizbees. Mm, yes, because they look delicious. All right. So Fizzing Whizbees, this was a cute box. We got this in the Weasley's Wizard and Weezes store. Yes. Um. So they just look like chocolate things, and I'm guessing there's like some sort of a pop rock situation inside. Oh, really? I thought that's they were just filled I with thought. like some raspberry jelly. <laughs> Don't cough on me. Oh, well, strawberry jelly. There's jelly. Hurry. I'd like to eat this. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's rice crispies in it. Hmm. Maybe pop rock. You're right. You're definitely right. It's Pop Rocks. It's fizzing. Yeah. It's Pop Roxy. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty tasty. Dope. Yeah. These are good. I like it. No. I... All right. Mm, yeah, those are good. Yeah. And something like chocolate and fruitiness. I love chocolate. Yeah, it's definitely Pop Rocks I get. Also, we purchased these. <clears throat> Plastic but to be a cups. Reusable. Heavy duty plastic too. Yeah, these are dope. And they said that in some spots in the park you could refill it for a dollar fifty. Because things are really expensive there. The butterbeer was like what? The first butterbeer? This with the butterbeer was like fourteen. Something. Yeah, it was like almost fifteen dollars to get the like commemorative cup. And then I didn't get another butterbeer the whole time besides I the hot butterbeer at breakfast time. <laughs> and that didn't count. I love this. their butterbeer. I don't really love butterbeer. I do what? it just for the, the fun of it all. And oh, so if we're continuing on with Harry Potter, this shirt. So no. we first got to the park. I saw Gryffindor and Ravenclaw version of this long sleeve shirt, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I need to find the Hufflepuff one because yeah. this shirt is dope. <coughs> no store had them. They were all one sold out everywhere. told me they were sold out of Slytherin and Hufflepuff. And then our last day there, some guy walks by with a cell phone up in the air saying, do you have this shirt? She's like, oh my God, I think we have a few in the back and I think we only have medium. And I'm and like, she like chased that guy down. What? She's like, that's the Hufflepuff one? Like looking that's at this phone. That's the shirt I've been looking for this whole trip. And they had two and they were in medium. So I took one and that person took one for his daughter. I was nice. like, this is dope. I she scored dope the last shirt. day. I was pumped about it. So I'm opening this candy. Um, this is the chocolate frog. We got one of the legit, like, big chocolate frogs. Um, so it comes with the card. I'm excited to see yeah. what card that we got. Yeah, so chocolate frog. Oh, comes it's in huge. this sweet thing. Yeah, Yum. it's a giant chocolate frog, dude. Um, oh, I got Merlin. Did we ever have Merlin? I don't know. I've never got a chocolate frog before. We have. I haven't. You have. And I it think was before we, got we did these Salem. videos. No, I think we got then one. Then it was in a mini one. It was not that yeah, big. Yeah, it wasn't this big. Um, so I got Merlin for my card. Merlin's the most famous wizard of all time. He is sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters and was part of the court of King Arthur. Hmm. Cool. Merlin's beard. So that's really cool. These are like awesome. I love collecting these cards. But so this is literally just a hunk of chunk of chocolate. It looks delicious. Yeah, where's that knife you brought? No. You're going to bite into it with your sore throat and share it back with me? You can't. You I can maybe break a piece off with yeah. a leg. Oh my god! <laughs> so thick. Well, don't hurt yourself. You can get chocolate dusties everywhere. Don't cut your leg. <laughs> she chops her leg Here open. That's not even big enough piece. <laughs> I feel like with how much money you spend on this stuff, that should be fucking chocolate from Lindor or Cadbury, and that's just like. Normal Dollar Tree chocolate bar. You think so? Yeah. 
I mean, it's good. It's chocolate, but it's not like Hershey's. But yeah. you know, it's just solid chocolate. Another thing I bought was this shirt that is when it's in the sun, it like gets a whole Marauders map print on it. And it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good in like a rose goldy. That's dope. Shirt. I tried it on. I don't really love the way it fits me, but. Did you go out in the sun with it to see the map? No, I held it up into the sun. And it showed up? Yeah. Dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a, a weird little pattern. It's got the little feet prints on it. That's awesome. It is a cute shirt, but like... I um, mean, you could even wear it with like... Um, a sweater. Yeah, I was going to say like a cardigan over it. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. I have chocolate all over my pants. Um, So I love Harry Potter like baseball caps. So I found this new one and it almost looks like a sports logo. Yeah. And it's obviously Hufflepuff, but you wouldn't know. It matches my shirt. Yeah, you wouldn't know that this is a Hufflepuff hat unless you knew it was a Hufflepuff right. hat. You know what I mean? So this is really dope. I really like this. I'm actually just going to put this bad boy on. Right. Dope. I did forget one thing because they had like a promo going where it was like if you spent like $295 on like a gift card for Universal, you got a free wand and they let you pick between the Elder Wand, Harry, Hermione, Voldemort, and Newt Scamander. So I obviously picked Hermione because she's my favorite. Um, but I forgot the wand, so I can't show it to you. Mm. Anyway, but I did get a whole bunch of stuff. Samantha got me these little Hufflepuff magnets. Yeah. And I was like, you should have saved them for my stocking at Christmas time. And she that. was like, oh, crap. <clears throat> um, I got a Hufflepuff headband. I had one of these already, but I don't know what the heck happened to it. So I got a new one. It's just like a hard headband. This was $18. Like, was it's no joke. Yeah, it's no joke if you're trying to buy merch in the Universal stores because it is not cheap broke is joke yeah broke <laughs> um i also got this lanyard that looks like the house tie i kept seeing people wearing them because i had a lanyard from the last time the first time that we went which was a cool hufflepuff one but i, I just kept catching these and all the houses and people wearing them around their neck and i'm like it's the house tie mm. so i got one even though i don't use lanyards on a regular basis but it's really cool so if we ever go back one day i'd be like i'm gonna use my house tie right. lanyard i did get a hufflepuff face mask um, and I got a head girl pin. That's a dope pin. Yeah, Hufflepuff head girl. I should have got one of those. I didn't even really know. I've seen I've seen them in the park, but I yeah. didn't see the Hufflepuff one. I think I saw like a Ravenclaw one. Yeah. I yeah. Got one. So I got one of these for this was the biggest thing and the most expensive thing I bought while we were there is legitimate Hufflepuff robes. Mm, very cool. So yeah, I got the Hufflepuff robes. Um, these were $130. I thought they were $150. 139 I think. Oh. I thought 100... they were 149 but I could no. be wrong. Um, but it's got the legit hood with the pointy piece, you know, like from the movie. So that's really cool. They came from like extra, extra small all the way up to 2 and 3X. So that's really cool because all the little kids that are about it and then all the big kids like us that are about it, we yeah. could get them. So I was really excited because I had like a crappy like Halloween costume one that I had gotten a while back and it's kind of like falling apart and it's really heavy um so I was really yeah. excited to get one of these because the fabric is like legit um and it says Hufflepuff maybe I'll get one next time but yeah. while we're out there it's so hot I can't even look at those and yeah people it's so wearing hot. Them, there's I'm people like, wearing no. them and I'm like dude I can't. it's so hot <laughs> this is something else I got it says together they make one master of death and it's a dope bracelet yeah, that's dope. I dude. like it. So we got a ton of merch. Um, I spent way too much money. I'm mm. broke as a joke. Same. Um, but the other cool thing is that it was also Halloween Horror Night. Yes. Um, our family like loves Halloween, so we decided to go in October this year so that we could do Halloween Horror Night as well. Right. Yeah, but before we get into our Halloween Horror Night, we also got a Weasley's Wizarding Weezes Skiving Snack Box. Yum! They had them in the Weasley store, but it was ridiculously expensive mm -hmm. this was like forty dollars and there's only four types of like fake candies in yeah. here they have the fainting fancies the fever fudge the nosebleed nougat and the puking pasties 
doesn't sound appetizing. So, no, yeah. But that's what the Weasley, the Weasley brothers, they made it so that kids could, like, get out of class. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so this was a really cool thing. I really like the outside of the box, um, but I, I'm really disappointed with the inside of the box. Yeah, they should have made it cooler. For $40, you would think that they would decorate the inside of this box, right? Thanks. So it opens like this, and it's just like plain cardboard in here. I feel like there should have been designs on this for $40. They could easily have printed yeah. something with like Weasley or whatever and what is what. It would have been cool if they had labeled them. Um, I would have really appreciated that. So we're going to eat some of these while yeah, we share. We I'm thinking of some sort of a fudge situation in here or a cookie thing. That one looks more like the fudge. I don't remember any of the names besides the puking thing. And that didn't sound appetizing, but... This feels like a hard jelly. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. It's like a hard candy. It's like a hard candy, but it's like squishy on the outside. Mm, it's watermelon. Mm. Mm, I like mm. that. It tastes good. It tastes good, and it's definitely getting stuck in my cheese. Yeah, because it's like gummy hard candy. You know what I mean? Like the outside melted a bit. Mmm. Mmm. I'm probably going to like break a tooth. I'm probably going to break a tooth. I'm not sure which one this is. I should have like Googled what they look like. Hmm. I'm going to go with Fainting Fancies. We'll guess that. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. I can't eat this whole thing. Mm. It's too hard. It's oh, definitely it's like, like a so sucker yummy. kind of candy. Yeah. Yeah, it's too big it. to put all in your mouth to suck yeah. on it. Little you know when you have a hard candy teeth. in your mouth and it's like stale, but it still tastes good? Mm -hmm. That's, That's what it, it is. Yeah. It's like partially, <clears throat> partially chewy. This is the fever fudge. I really yeah. don't know. I only know that because I watched um, somebody do like a make their own, like on YouTube. They mm. made their own fever fudge because these are like cinnamon candies in it. Um. So it's like spicy, you know what I mean? Mm. Gonna be gross. I hate yeah, I'm them. I still got this candy in my mouth. I'm trying to chew mine, so it's like hard. It's getting like stuck in my teeth. Yeah. So this is the fever fudge. What is this blue? It's fudge. Oh, it's actually fudge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm getting there. See, she like ate the whole thing. I wasn't eating that whole thing. I'm starving. I'm starving. <laughs> I don't done. like cinnamon flavored stuff. Yeah, those are hot tamales. You think so? Or is there a red jelly bean? Doesn't it say like cinnamon gel jelly beans? Jesus. <laughs> you could have just like spit it out. I have nothing to spit it into. There's like chunks of candy stuck <laughs> in my molars <laughs> that are now like an extra tooth. Yeah. It's like really in there. Yeah. Holy crap, it's stuck. Oh. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Oh my god. I hate cinnamon flavored stuff. I don't like the me. lardy flavor of the blue stuff. It's fudge. It's like probably white chocolate fudge. Yeah. The lardy flavor. Of the I can't have <laughs> candy out of my teeth. All right. How? Yeah. That hurt. Well, what do you think this one is? Fudge. This one's like missing all of its nuts. <laughs> well, we did the. We think the fainting fancy is the fever fudge. This Those is pistachio. Nosebleed nougat. That's my guess. Oh, God. Are those pistachios? Yeah. <laughs> I'm allergic to pistachios. <laughs> yeah, well, You're you, going to have to try this one. I will. open. I want that one without the pistachios. And those white things look like giant six lips. They probably are. I hope this is delicious. Because it has chocolate. The nosebleed nougat. Mm. It's like marshmallow nougat inside. Looks bomb. The flavor is not great. No. You would think for how much these things cost. Yeah. What's the nougat flavor? 
Is it marshmallow or like nuts or? Yeah, it's not really like Milky Way nougat -y. It's like marshmallow-y. Vanilla? Vanilla nougat? Yeah. Is that a sixlet or a malt box? I'm, I'm pretty sure box. it's a sixlet. I can't get it off. Sixlet. Oh. It's just a chocolate ball. I wish this was a giant Milky Way right now. <laughs> Love Milky Way. I'll leave these ones with you because I can't eat those. Oh my god. Oh um, my god. Let me put a pistachio in and see what it tastes like with the pistachio. Okay, what if you're allergic to? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Like, I got my blood checked and they said I wasn't allergic to any nuts, but I had a weird ass allergic reaction. This one time I had pistachios for the first time in like two years, so I'm scared weird. of pistachios now. It's weird when you have a pistachio. Weird. Yeah. Odd. And then these are the puking pasties. They're literally like yeah, jelly be... gummy. I really don't want the rest of this. What? I said I really don't want the rest. Put it in the container. Or in there instead of the container that it goes in. <laughs> oh yeah, I got these. I got these um, Harry Potter leggings too. Oh yeah. They have the house. Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor. And then they have stripes on the side. Nice. Oh, There's also noses? a little hidden pocket, like, in the waist. What? On the inside. Oh, for, like, a phone or something? I don't think you can fit your phone, but you can probably fit, like, a lot of cash in there. Put your weed in there. <laughs> wow, this is really jealous. So this is, yeah, the puking pasties. Kind of not sure it's, like, puke, but it'll puke. It's oh, orangey. It's, it's citrus. Yeah. It's a very thick gummy. Why do they think children would like the flavors of these things? Some people really love citrus flavored food. It's oh. very, but the citrus flavor is there, except it's like one's lemon, one's orange, and split down the center. This is like gumdrop gum, which I don't like. Yeah, it's too jelly. So overall, this was not worth forty dollars. So do not waste your time. <laughs> do not waste your time. <laughs> do not pay forty dollars for that. I just thought it was a neat idea to do on this channel because we right. always eat stupid stuff. And I was like, oh, this would be so cool to like eat. But I was so disappointed at the inside of that box. It's just plain cardboard. Like, come on. Yeah, they should have made it. The Weasleys wouldn't have done that. They it it would have been it. all yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there would have been like. Yeah. <coughs> there would have been little like magical things on each row that showed what the candy did and what it was called. Yeah. I feel like, you know what I mean? The Weasleys would have went balls to the wall. So that was a disappointment. Mm. Um, so we have a bunch of Halloween horror stuff to show you guys. I got this fun shirt. It's basically just like my Hufflepuff shirt, but uh, it says Halloween Horror Nights. And they didn't have my size, so I got like an extra large. It's still like good for sleeping. You know? Dope. Yeah. Nice big baggy shirt. Yeah. Dude. This you one I wore leggings. to bed, so it's not on a hanger. But I thought it was cute. It says Drop Dead Gorgeous. Tank top. Don't, Don't go, go alone. alone. And then the back has all the different haunted Horror houses things that they had. Yeah, the haunted houses. It was yeah, cool. it was so cool. And these shirts were cool because it made us think of a podcast. So we love my favorite murder. Mm. Um, so we were like, yo, that's dope. Let's get these shirts. And then it's almost like a concert t-shirt because it's got all the attractions for that. Yeah, Halloween Horror it was Night, cool. Which was dope. So I went into Beetlejuice and then the Haunting of Hill House one. The Haunting of Hill House one was so cool. I didn't get into the rest of them. The lines were crazy. She got into a couple more, I think. Um, I went into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I think that's all we got to go in. No way. I thought you wanted to do two more when we were gone. No, I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I wanted uh, to go into all of them, but nobody was up for it. Yeah, it's just the lines were crazy. My feet were already broken. Like, nah. They had these cool cups that you could, um, you bought it for whatever price it was. I think it was for like refills. 14 to like 15 bucks. Like soda machines and then yeah that. you could fill it up for a dollar fifty like at any soda joint but i liked it because it's a cool cup and i like cups and then i got this one at the neighboring hotel just because it was a <laughs> cute halloween cup yeah cute halloween cup good for coffee traveling mm. i got the um beetlejuice lanyard for 
um, Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I love Beetlejuice. I love Tim Burton. So when mm -hmm. I saw that there was going to be a Beetlejuice house, I was like all yeah. over it. I'm like, yo, I need me some Beetlejuice stuff. And that house, like, it wasn't scary. I it think was it was more cool. for a younger kid. It was so cool. Yeah. There was one part where I did jump, though, when the bride came sneaking around. Oh, you know what part made me jump? When that last, like, big snake worm head came down right at the very end from the top. It started to come I missed, down at yeah, us, it, and I jumped. That happened behind me, though. I didn't even see it come yeah, down. Yeah, because you were ahead of me. Yeah. But, yeah, that made me jump. That was the only thing that made me jump. Everything else about that freaking thing was so cool. I was like, I'm obsessed with this Beetlejuice house. That's cool. So then I got more Beetlejuice stuff. I got one of the Halloween Horror Nights um, Beetlejuice t-shirts. On the back it says, Never Trust the Living. Mm. And then the front is this awesome graphic design um, of Beetlejuice. When Sam J saw the shirt, he's like, I almost wish you got me this one instead of the mm. Hard Rock. He thought this was so cool. Uh. Like, this is a dope design. It's just dope. I really like this t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And then the last Beetlejuice thing I got was this reversible hat. So... I'm like, let me take my hair's clipped in here. It's just like a fishing type of hat, like with Beetlejuice on it, yeah. but it reverses. And this is so awesome. Um, so it's got the snake around like the brim and then the top of it says strange and unusual. Mm, yeah, that's, that's cool. I too am strange and unusual. So absolutely love this fun hat. Um, yeah, we had a blast. There was so much cool stuff. Like, we love Harry Potter so much that we're like, let's just go live in, like, Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade, you know? She got to go on the new Hagrid's ride. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell them about that. Me and my dad waited in line for, I don't know, probably, like, 45 minutes. Yeah. And Hagrid's we didn't know what like to adventure. expect. And I'm not a roller coaster person. I don't like them. But I've gone on all of the Harry Potter rides, so I had to try it. Because you have to. <laughs> and we got in there, it started going, and it's a motorcycle and a side cart. And I was taking the side cart because I did not want to be up higher and feel like I was falling off a roller coaster. <laughs> and it started going. It was going very fast. It was scary. And all of a sudden, you start going up a hill, and Hagrid's like, oh, you ran out of gas or whatever that he says i don't remember what he said because i was like dying on <laughs> in this thing <laughs> and then we started going backwards Falling. and i do not like backwards rides at all to top it was a roller coaster we start going backwards i'm like dying screaming no <laughs> then all of a sudden it stops and you're just sitting there you don't know what's going to happen. All of a sudden, you dropped. Oh. And I was like, oh, my God. And then it picked up speed again. I was like, "This, I need this to be over. I would have had so much fun. I love roller coasters. But they make rides for people that have, like, normal size hips, butt thighs. <laughs> and mine are extra large. So I didn't fit in the seat. So I didn't get to go on it. But I totally would have. And I would have loved it. You would have freaked out just like No, me. I would have had so much fun. I love roller coasters. I'm screaming. Oh my like, god. The first time that we went, we went on the um the Hogwarts Castle ride. That was the I remember most that one being very ride. fun. Was so fun. But it was one of those ones where your feet dangle, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, those ones aren't as bad for me. I don't know why. Hmm. That one was fun too, yeah. And yeah. we did the, the Green Gods one. Yeah, the first time around we did the Green Gods one. Um, so yeah, it was packed. The first time we went to Universal, um, in the Harry Potter worlds, it, we went it in a February, February and I felt like there, it was pretty dead compared to when we just went in October. It was nonstop crazy busy lines were insane for everything. She didn't get to get her favorite breakfast. I know. The cauldron. Huh? You know what we didn't do? We didn't do our photo session. No, we did not. But I was like, I'm not going to buy another one anyway. I bought one the first time we went. But yeah, it's a pretty magical place. Yeah. There'll be videos um, in this video to show you different places and pictures of things that um, we saw. Um, and we had a super lot of fun. So maybe in a couple more years we can right. go once we pay this one off. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can do like pay as you go vacations. So that's what we do because it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. We can't afford that all at once. All right. So this is the dragon. Blows fire in Diagon Alley. Super dope. Um, this is 12 Grimold Place. You can see Creature in this window if you pay. Oh, there he is. And this is the Hogwarts Castle. It's so magical. The train. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 
Oops. That's the night bus. So cool. And this is us walking into Diagon Alley. Also so magical. That's a cool mermaid statue. So we got the fishy gilly ale. It says ale, but it's not alcohol. It's delicious. <laughs> what's in it? I don't know what's in it, but talk about the flavors. It's like cinnamon and there's these little boba balls at the bottom. So it's like fishy watery eggs. So it's like blueberry popping bubbles. Yeah. And then it's like almost like a cinnamon. horchata on top. Like it's cinnamon coconut. It's really good. All right, so we got the cold butter beer. And then we got the frozen butter beer. They're pretty much the same thing, except this is like a slushy and this is just a soda. So they're bomb, right? Yeah. So if you've never had universal butter beer, it's the best butter beer ever. On the top, it's like a butterscotchy like cream. And it's like bubbles that don't pop. <laughs> bomb. All right, I got the fish and chips. Yeah. Would you get the cottage pie? Cottage pie. Yeah. So what's in it? Looks like mashed potatoes. It's, I think it's like a shepherd's pie. Oh, almost. like a shepherd's pie? It's like beef and vegetables. <laughs> I thought it was going to be chunky like that. All right. Anyway, so the fish and chip came with tartar sauce. These french fries are dank. I'm going to try it in the tartar sauce. Because why the f not? Yeah, yeah, those are good. Yeah. Yeah. These fries? Yeah, those are good. <laughs> this is a really cool display that was in the Hagrid's motorbike ride. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Magical and non-magical friends. Bye. Bye.